KTL exclusive. Oh, oh, it's the car in the building. We ain't sorry if we kill it. Riding for my God, niggas know I'm never serving. Spreading love, cause our people hurt. Is it oppression or depression? Is it? Alright, first and foremost, want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, real name Yahweh Shai, right? We the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to tell the so called Black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indian people that we are the true people of God and to prophesy to all the other nations that they are going into slavery, thus saith Yahweh, thus saith the Most High God. That's right! It's not a Bible about just peace and just love yes. and it's all everybody can be happy and everybody can be together That's not what's inside the Bible Right? right? Get this real quick. Right. This is Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 2 yeah. Hear the words of this covenant Do what? Hear, hear you the, the words, words of this covenant. covenant We gotta hear the words of this covenant Right, go ahead. And speak unto the children of Judah uh -huh. and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right. Talking about the so-called black, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians. Right, go ahead. And say unto them, uh -huh. thus saith Yahweh, uh -huh. the God of Israel, Thank cursed God. be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. Say what? Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. It says, cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. And we see, we look at the black community today. We look at the Hispanic community today. How you doing, King? How you doing, my brother? Oh, it's King. All praise, all praise. So look, you heard that verse? I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read that last part again for you. Watch, listen to this, right? Go ahead. Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. It says, cursed be the man, you know what I'm saying? But in general, man, woman that doesn't obey the words of this covenant. You look at the black community today. You look at the Hispanic communities today. They're in detriment. They're on the bottom. You feel what I'm saying? The bottom of the tonal pole in every single aspect of life. You have wealth, education. You have in the criminal justice state the highest. You have in the um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you look at the people, and the Bible says, "Curse be these people talking to the children of Israel." And you see right now that the black and Hispanic people we're the most cursed on this earth. That's First right. fire, last hire, getting shot in the street every single damn day. You know what I'm saying? Getting um, racially profiled every single day. Everything. Yes. Everything unjust in America happens to the so-called black and Hispanic people and the white man benefits from our demise. That's right! right. They walk around smiling and shit like we're gonna smack that shit off their face. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, this is not the 1920s no more. We're gonna stand up boldly and proclaim to the black and Hispanic people that we're separate from these people. That we're better than these people. Right? right. And that we have a goal that we need to uh, that we need to uh, attain and we need to reach that we need to achieve right. and that goal is keeping God's laws That's because good. going away from God's laws have got the black and Hispanic people oppressed and at the bottom today and cursed right God read this uh, Daniel um, 9 okay. Give me this is Daniel 9 and 7 in the CEV Bring it out. everything you do is right our Lord but 9, 9, 11. 20. 11 Everyone in Israel has stubbornly refused to obey your laws. Uh -huh. And so those curses... Those what? Those, those curses! curses. Those curses. Right? We, you see in the Bible, it's continuously talking about curses. The black man always says, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Nigga, how are we blessed? Our people are getting shot down in the street. Our people are, are suffering tremendously from the effects of redlining, from the effects of systematic oppression, institutional racism, structural racism in America from the past, you know what I'm saying, after Jim Crow laws, after 400 years of hardcore chattel slavery. We're still suffering from these things, so how can we be blessed as a people? We got to understand that we are the cursed people inside this Bible. And in order for us to not be cursed, and in order for us to actually be blessed, we got to do what God said to do. We got to come back to God's laws. That's right. Let me ask you, brother. As a, do you know any of God's laws? Absolutely. What are some of God's laws? God's laws is, 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 is love all of us. Who's all of us? One, one, each, each and every one of us. Okay. Does that include everyone? Does that include... Uh, does it include this guy right here? The one that looked like Bao Zhi from Phineas and Ferb. Does it include him? Okay, well, well, let's see. Let's see, right? Give me Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 and 4. I'm going to show you something. Oh, 1 and verse 2. Right? I'm going to show you something. Okay, right? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And so those curses written by your servant Moses have fallen upon us. 
You warned us and our leaders that Jerusalem would suffer the worst disaster in human history. You warned us that our leaders will suffer the worst disaster in human history. Now let me ask everybody a question. What is more worse than the transatlantic slave trade? And the genocide of the native and indigenous people of the Americas. What's worse than that? The white man. No, I'm saying, no, no possible condition is worse than those things. White people will try to come up and say, oh, I'm Irish, I was a slave, I was an indentured servant. Nigga, you chose to be a slave. The, the Jewish man said, oh, we went through the Holocaust. Let's say, you know what I'm saying, the Holocaust, the Holocaust happened, right? They say six million people died in the Holocaust. A hundred million people plus people died on the way to America from Africa. That's right. Not including the, the hundreds of millions of native and black people that died in this land right now that, that these Jewish people profit off of. So we see in the world, the worst disaster that happened is to the black and Hispanic people, is to the biblical Israelites. So that's where you can see the correlation between black and Hispanic people and the true people of God. But like you said, we got to have love for everybody. Let's see what God said. Go ahead. This is Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2 in the GNT. Yahweh says to his people, uh -huh. I have always loved you. Yes, oh God has always loved us. Right. The Israelites, the black and Hispanic people. Go ahead. But they replied, uh -huh. How have you shown your love for us? Uh -huh. The Lord answers, Esau and Jacob were brothers, uh -huh. but I have loved Jacob and his descendants. Yes, I have God said, Esau and Jacob were brothers, but I have loved Jacob and his descendants, right? Go ahead. Have hated and has what? Have hated and has what? Have hated Esau and his descendants. God said he hates a whole ethnic group of people and their descendants. So why would I love something that God hates? You see what I'm saying? So when you look at God's commandments, it's not to love everybody. God, I don't love the white man and I will never love the white man. God don't love the white man and he will never love them. He hates them. You know what I'm saying? All right, give me Second Thessalonians 1 and verse 6. Right? So one of God's commandments is to have a beard on your face. Right? You probably didn't know that. But you got a beard on your face. You know what I'm saying? Another one of God's commandments is to not shave our head. That's right. Shave your head? You don't shave it? Okay, just like that? Okay, okay, okay. I'll shave my head. Man. Okay, good, good, good. You know what I'm saying? That's another one of God's commandments that you keep, but you don't really know. Give me Romans 2 and verse 14 real quick. You don't really know why you're doing it, but it's in our spirit to obey God's laws as a people. You feel what I'm saying? As a people group, you look who grows their beard. You look who really doesn't shave their heads and things of that nature. It's the black and Hispanic people. You look at the white man, what do they promote? Promote uh, a shaved face is next to uh, masculinity, or you know, what I'm saying it's presentable. You feel what I'm saying? You go to work, they ha they're not gonna allow you to come in there like that. You feel what I'm saying? They try to demasculize you, you know what I'm saying, to make you more effeminate. That's what they used to do to us in slavery, and they still do it to this day. So we see, as a people, we have ties to our God, but we gotta come full circle and really understand why we have these things. God, this is Romans two verse fourteen. But when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature. Do by what? Do, do by, by nature. By nature, you just do these things, God. Right, right, right. The things contained in the law. Right. And it said the Gentiles. The word Gentile in the Greek just means nation. Right. Right now, you're a Gentile. You know what I'm saying? Because you are alienated from your uh, true nationality. If I was to ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Israelite. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israelite. Yeah, Israelite, okay. baby. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, are you an Israelite? Yeah, I'm an right. Israelite. Oh, praise it. What's wrong? I'm a black Israelite. What's your, what's your, uh, uh, like, what's your, like, what are you, um, like, you're black or Jamaican or? Black. Just black, right? So you come from the, you come from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, so we see the, the word, the word, right, 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 Judah, oh, praise. That's where Christ come from, right? The word black is a color. And the word black is associated with negativity, Beat demonic, evil, mind, nasty, you disgusting. Go. You feel what I'm saying? And the Beat white man up. associated himself with what? The word white, which means purity, angel-like. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, 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 perfect things of that nature. So they try to make us, even in the, the race that they use, um, that they put on us, 
to separate us and, and put a division between us. Cause look, these people are not white. All of them are pink, literally. All of them. Look at them. Right, They're all right. pink and red. Right. Look at his face. Yeah. His that's ears, his right. they all red. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Word. F these, F the white man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, we gotta understand. Lit, yo. We gotta understand as a people, or as a people, we are the actual people of God, and a lot of these terms that's been associated to us are what our oppressors and what our slave masters taught us. We gotta come back to our true nationality as an Israelite, as a king of God, as a princess, a queen of God. Understand? This is First Peter five verse eight. Be sober. Be what? Be sober. Be sober, be sober my brother. Go ahead. Be vigilant. Be what? Be vigilant. You gotta be vigilant. You gotta be aware. All right. Go ahead. Because your adversary, the devil. Because your adversary, who? The devil. Your adversary, the devil, the white man, the Chinese man, the East Indian man. Go ahead. As a roaring lion. Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. It says seeking whom he may devour. And you don't always devour somebody physically. I could devour you emotionally. I could devour you spiritually. I could devour you uh, ec uh, socioeconomically. I could devour you financially. Every single culture in this world devours the black and Hispanic people and everyone knows that's how it's physically. How does a hardcore bondage? How does a chattel slavery? You look at the East Indians, you look at the, Ish the, uh, the Arabs. They come into our communities, tell tell you that they love you, and they sell you pork, which is haram in their culture. They sell you cigarettes that deteriorate and destroy your body. The damn goops, the damn Chinese and these chicks, they go and open up a damn liquor store in every single block in the hood to have you fucking strum out yes. on $8 E&J. Yes! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing up fucking Jack bro, Daniels bro. in them little little ass shot glasses. Oh, yeah. right. You feel me? But we gotta understand that these people are doing this to us because we broke God's laws. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta come back. Like one of God's laws is to have fringes on. Right. My brother, my brother, my brother. Listen, listen, listen. One of God's laws is to have fringes on. Right. Alright? Like the fringes, it's our culture. You know what I'm saying? But it's more than just a, a, an attire. You feel me? It's a meaning behind it. I'm going to show you the meaning behind it. Just give me um, numbers real quick. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6 in the MSG. Bring it out! It says, you're suffering now, but justice is on the, it's on the way. You see, black and Hispanic people, we're suffering right now. But the Bible says justice soon will be on its way. Right. Right, my brother. Catch a question. Does the, does the black man have justice in America? No. My brother with the beanie, with the no. trench coat. Yo, King, with the beard. Let me talk to you quick about the black community. You look like you love the black community. Let's talk real quick. So say that's the problem with our people. Our people don't have a second to to, to just dialogue about the condition of our people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But if I was white. And I said, you know what? I got a job for you. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. I'm on that. Here you go. Here's my resume. Here's this. Here's that. I'll do whatever you want. You feel what I'm saying? But when it talks about, well, but we need to talk about the upliftment and the betterment of the black and Hispanic societies, nobody has that second or that one minute just to dialogue to see what we're doing wrong, to see where we can improve in our communities. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of our people, we've been astray from our, astray from our culture, astray from our uh, traditions, astray from our heritage has been stripped from us and we're not seeking to find it back instead we're seeking to be like the white man right. we're seeking to be like the east indian man the, the arab man the chinese people you know what i'm saying we got to seek to be like how we were before we got into this captivity That's right. so justice is on its way for the black and hispanic community and the justice for black and hispanics is the white man going into slavery the justice for black and hispanics is the the damn gooks walking and doing all the black sisters nails for free you know what I'm saying? They cut your nail, that's 10,000 lashes. Right. I'm beating your ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more ching chong talking about your, your ugly toes. No, I'm not going to violate you. Talking about your toes, calling you ugly, saying you stink. None of that. You know what I'm saying? I would just as soon come. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, like this bitch from Brave, she's going into slavery. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. When the master, Yahweh Shai, appears out of the heaven, in a blaze of fire huh? with his strong angels, huh? he'll even up the score. He'll do what? He'll, he'll even, even up, up the score. score. This is how you know the Bible is written by black people. Who says I'm gonna up the score? Who says that? Right. Right. We say that. Right. Right. Look at any drum music. He take one, I'm upping up the score. I'm gonna up the score. Right. <laughs> God is gonna up the score right. on the white man. Right. 
That's a lot of white blood in this land. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, turn around. It's for you. Right. right? Let me get numbers 35 and verse uh, 35 and 30. 33 35. Right? Because God is going to up the score by shedding the blood of the people that oppressed us. But it's only right. For say, no amount of money is going to, is going to, no amount of money they can give us is going to be able to pay back for what they took from us. They took everything from us, left us with nothing, and give reparations to the white man. Give reparations to the Jewish man, even though it wasn't America that did it to the Jewish people, it was Germany. Why the hell was America give re a, a reparations to Jewish people if the Germans did what they did to the Jewish communities? But what they did to the black and Hispanic communities is not enough. F them. I'm going to just give a stimulus check to everybody. Everybody can get a stimulus check, but we can't give our reparations for these people. Because they know there's no way to pay back the blood, sweat, tears, land of this country. This stupid ass flagpole, the first thing it says on it is for God. You tell them you took this country for God? No. You took it from God. You took it from the gods of this earth. Right. And that's they're gonna be paid back for that. Go ahead. He'll even up the score by settling accounts with those who gave you such a bad time. His his coming will be the break we've been waiting for. His coming is gonna be the break that we've been waiting for. I know niggas be working nine, ten hours. You can't wait for that. 30 minute break. You can't wait for that shift to be over. Right? Our oppression, when Christ come back, that's finally gonna be our break, our rest. We're finally gonna have liberation. Finally gonna have true reparations, right? Which is blood. Go ahead. Those who refuse to know Yahweh and refuse to obey the message. But the people, the people, the people that God chose of the so-called black and Hispanic people, two-thirds of these people, they're gonna deny this word. They're gonna deny the most high God. What's gonna happen to them? We'll pay for what they've done. Do what? We'll pay for what they've done. You see, if you one of those people, you just a two-time loser, nigga. You done went through all this oppression just to say F God. Let me just serve the white man. Now you're gonna get the death and the judgment that's coming to you. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to be one of those people. You want to be the people that get lifted up. You want to be the people that get raised up out of this oppression. Right? This is Psalms 110 verse 6. He shall judge among the heathen. Do what? He shall judge among the heathen. Judge among the heathen. Who's the heathen? Anyone that's not black or Hispanic. Anyone that's not native or Seminole Indian. Right? Go ahead. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. What are you going to do? He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He's going to fill the places with the dead bodies. What are these places? All of these cities around America, all of these states around America is going to be filled with the dead bodies of Becky, of Josh, of damn King Young. All right, Abdul, right, Muhammad, all these niggas, they going into slavery. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and as a black and Hispanic people, we, we grow up looking at the oppression that we went through, but we still work for our oppressors. We still go out and arrest and shoot and kill the black and Hispanic people that's, that's under the same oppression as you. You feel what I'm saying? Like all of these so-called so black and Hispanic cops, all of these people that work in these high official things, not working for the army, they're coons, they're sellouts. They sell out to the black community. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they like to, a lot of black people, you know what I'm saying, growing up, they'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the to the to the police system so I can make a change. You're not making no change. Once you get that once you get that order from the chief officer, ain't no going back. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta understand that God. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Uh -huh. He's gonna wound the heads over many countries. Who's those many countries? China, Iraq, Iran, America, right? All of these countries. Alright? Got, got, got. Mr. White Man, you got a minute to talk about uh, talk about uh, America? You got a minute. <laughs> this is Romans chapter 16 and verse 20. Bring it up. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The God, the God of what? The God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. I said the God of peace is gonna bruise Satan under our feet shortly. How you doing, my How you doing, my brother? Benjamin. Right, okay. you Benjamin? Where you from? Where you go? Okay, so where are you from, Jamaica? Oh, okay. My pops from Chalani. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, well, but look, we are here. We are here for you. You feel what I'm saying? We are here for the so-called black and Hispanic people because, as a people, we've been at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? But anywhere in the world, we're at the bottom. But 
You know what I'm saying? Some of us can become successful, but with that success, we need to be able to liberate other black and Hispanic people, but not only with financial, not only with, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's right here. But the only me the only mental stability that black and Hispanic needs is this Bible. Because this is where our culture is, our heritage, our traditions, our laws, everything that God gave to us as a possession has been taken from us and we need to take it back. You know what I'm saying? And we need to share that with the black and Hispanic communities because that's what's going to bring us back on top where we belong. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Let me show you this one verse real quick before you go, right? This is Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you listen and hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, go ahead. Right. To observe and to do all his commandments. Right. All his commandments. Everything you find in the first five books, all of the commandments of God, you observe to do these things. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, like not eating shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Right. Wearing your fringes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not shaving your beard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Things right. like that is what got, got us in slavery in the first place. Right. So we got to stop doing those things right. to do to do what? Which I command thee this day uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. On above, where? On, on high. On where? On, on high. Uh -huh. Above all nations of the earth. Yes. So if we, listen to, if we only listen to God, we will be on top of this earth. Right. You see? And you look at the black and Hispanic community, look at the Jamaicans. Who's better than us? Who really, who's really better than us? Ain't nobody better than Jamaicans, you know what I'm saying? Word, and that's, that's personal. That's personal. Nobody's better than Benjamin. Right? But look, you look at the, you look at the black and Hispanic community. But real quick, real quick, King, real quick, real quick, real quick. King, King, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick. You, look, you, look, you look at the black and Hispanic communities and the native and some of the Indian people. We're better than everybody else, right? Sports. Uh, uh, music, dancing, we run everything. everything. Exactly, everything, everything you think of. But as a people, we're still at the bottom in every single, um, you know what I'm saying, aspect. You look at John Morant and Donovan Mitchell. They just got, they got, they got John Morant already, I think, like what? How many games? And like a month, they got already six um, drug tests. Because he's just nice. Luka Dot, whatever, Luka. He just dropped 60, 20, and 20, no drug tests. Donovan Mitchell dropped 71, immediately drug tested. You know what I'm saying? Right. In any single aspect, even where we, where we run things, the white man finds a way to oppress you. The white man finds a way to just call you out and try to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? Even and you look at um, the Olympics, we run that run. We run the run yeah, shit. We run that they don't get drug we tested. against ourselves. Like, our, American have a uh, Jamaican running for, what? for the world. No, we <laughs> word, exactly. <laughs> but we, listen, Jamaican's on top. Shakari Richardson, she's, you know what I'm saying? Not compared to us, trash. I'm sorry. But look, even her, Shakari Richardson, she smoked. They kicked her out, they didn't let, they let allow her, you know what I'm saying, to go to the Olympics. We fell it all over the place. Mm -hmm. But look, bro, the white man, there's there's little white girls taking steroids to make them faster and they're still able to run. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you we see still the, got it though. But we still we got still it though. Got but we see the disparities know, within the people. That's how you know we're the people that suppress that, and we're the people that gotta come yeah, back to this Bible that. so we can be back on top in every single aspect. So we can give them the drug tests. So we can give them the nine to fives. So we can give them uh, 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 um, housing income and Section 8 and, and EBT and, and damn all of them things. You know what I'm saying? Because we're the, we're, the, we're the rightful people that's supposed to run this. Right, give me second address 6 and verse 55 real quick. It's worth 56. We're the people that this earth was made for. You know what I'm saying? Us. Yeah. Us. us. Not them. The us, world was baby. made for our sakes. That's right. So we got yeah, to come back right, to God. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wake them up. Wake them up. Exactly. Wake them up. Wake them up. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. Bring it out. After all these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And, come and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people who God chose, God, which is the so-called black and Hispanic native and some of the Indian people, God. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. What did God do? The, 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 so like it, the Lord, because, from the top. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. For whose? For our sake, God, sorry, sorry, sorry. the God of heaven and earth, the God that created everybody, made the entire world for our sake. 
not for the white man to rule. God made the world for us to rule and for us to rule over these people. So now our roles have been switched because of our additional obedience to the Most High God. That's right. Uh, this is Matthew 5, verse 5. Bless all the meek. Bless all the meek. Bless the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Said, Bless are the meek, for they're the people that's going to inherit the earth. Israel was the smallest of Muslim nations. Right. But God loved us. God chose us. That's why we're going to rule this earth. You know what I'm saying? The first going to be last, and the last going to be first. And who's the last in every aspect in this world? It's the black and Hispanic people. The black and Hispanic communities. Right? The best people on the face of this earth. So that's why we're going to so we take the kingdom back. Let me, um... Uh, go back, give me numbers and give me Daniel 7. Right, God, read. Huh, verse 56. As for uh, the other people whom thou, it's like it. as for the other people who also come of Adam. Wait, as for everybody else who also comes from Adam, go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What did God say? Thou hast said that they are nothing. Oh, they are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. literally said. Oh, we oh, got a card. You got a, you got a card. One of the cards. I right, bet yo, the flyers on it. I, mean, I said the flyer. <laughs> the numbers on it. The YouTube's on it. Oh no no. Oh, you got. Oh, you got your card. Wait, wait. How long are you gonna be here? Cause we need a picture after this. That's what I'm saying. I like, I like, I like eight. Like eight, 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 eight okay. okay. You gonna circle back? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. you know, you know, say you got one of our cars. No. No, yo, no, yo, no. yo, yo, flyers. Yeah, that's flyers. His that's his car. That's his car. Yeah. Yeah. He got my number. I heard you last time. Yeah, for real. I remember. Oh, all right. So listen, listen. Keep in touch. I got you. I'm gonna call you later. Respect. All right. Up, up. Yo, I love you, boy. But, Slack here, from the top, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse 56. Bring it out! As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. How you doing, sir? You have a question about what's going on? It goes to nothing. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? You got a question about what's going on? You got a question about what's going on? You speak English? You don't speak English. Uh, keep it just keep it keep it keep it Yeah. This is Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defileth the land. See, the Bible says blood defiles the land. And like I said earlier, this flagpole says that it's for God. But they had to shed millions of blood to get this land. But God said blood defiles the land. And our blood is the one that's defiling this land. Go ahead. What? And the land cannot be cleansed uh -huh. of the blood that is shed therein. But by what? But by the blood of him that shed it. The Bible says the, the blood of this land cannot be cleansed. And there's no amount of reparations that can clear the blood of this land but by the blood of the people that shed it. That's and right. who has the blood of our oppressors. None other than the white man. That's None right. other than the Chinese man. The, the East Indian man. The people that come to America stand on stolen property and oppress black and Hispanics even more. Teach them up. Right? So that's true reparation for the black and Hispanic community black and Hispanic communities. That's true reparation for our people. You know what I'm saying? Which is the blood of these people. Alright? Oh God. 18? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Daniel 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. I'll do what? Shall take the kingdom. Black and Hispanics, we're gonna take the kingdom. We're gonna take our rulership back. Right. And you can't take no rulership back by marching in the street talking about uh, no justice, no peace, I want equality. Ain't no equality would take it back. If I take your phone and you try to take it back, ain't not gonna be no peace with that. You gonna snatch that. We gonna snatch the kingdom from under these white people. Yes, right, right, God. And possess the kingdom. What? Possess the kingdom. We're finally gonna possess the thing that God rightfully gave to us: the kingdom, rulership, dominion over this earth. Right, go ahead. Forever. What? Forever. forever. Even forever and ever. Psalm 49 and verse 11. They said, we're going to rule the kingdom forever and ever. Right? This in America, they think that they're going to rule, they think that America is going to last forever. But God got a different plan. Right. God's plan is for us to rule forever. Right. Nigga, they $31.4 trillion in debt. That's <laughs> 
What are they gonna do? What, listen, what are they? How are they gonna pay it back? And how? Exactly, how, they how, can't. How, how they gonna pay it back? And the only way they have to do it, they gotta raise the taxes. Right. And who does that affect the most? The black and Hispanic community. That's right. These rich white people are not worried about taxes, right? You have a place in Greenspoint, right borderline of Detroit. Right. You, have, you have white communities. You have white communities. That's right. you, right? The white yo, you go to slavery. That's right. That's right. right. And That's go beat right. The out of you in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. 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 I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. There you go. Right. 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 What? 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 What you gonna do, boy? You that will that will not care about you know saying but uh, equal education for the uh, for the school district. Look, 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 the car drop, the car drop. Look. So you in in a in a state in certain states there's equal education no matter what zip code you live in. But white people don't care. That's yours. But white people don't care about that. These rich white communities, they will pay the, they will pay the state back the taxes, so they can keep schools segregated. The black community cannot do that. We don't have enough property tax to, to, uh, to bring in uh, enough wealth to, to uh, properly self fund our educational systems. You know, what I'm you see what I'm saying? So as a people, we have to rely on our oppressors. So listen. They no more. You look me right in the eyes, try to tell me a lie. You got too much pride. Lately, I've been thinking and meditating. Scripture keep me straight, but I'm always keeping tabs on some shit. I've been watching all your actions and shit. Hey, I try to be like Malachi 3 and 6.